Yo, what's going down, man? It's your boy Cheddar Dog, and we holding it down here in Cheddarverse. We just got out the movies. It was good. What did we go watch? Yeah, the title did say it. We watched Alita. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, it's a manga adaption, okay? It has its OVAs. I think there's two of them there. I'm gonna go ahead and go just say, hold on real quick, okay? So, it wasn't this. It wasn't this. Definitely not this. And it sure as hell wasn't this. This, hands down, is the best live action that I've seen to date, okay? Now, I'm talking about, we've seen Avatar, we've seen Death Note, the Attack on Titans, the Japanese version, Jojo, uh, the live action, which Jojo was, I, I did, I did like, I did like it. And then, of course, the abomination that is Dragon Ball, uh, which I wish I've never seen, but I unfortunately have seen, just like the rest of the world, and we did not like it. Um, uh, Alita, man, it's like... It's CGI fest, but the CGI was really, really freaking good. The fighting was badass, dude. Like, the first, like, few chapters is in, like, the first 15 minutes of the movie. There was no stalling and no bullshit. It, like, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but, dude, like, I recommend it. Now, there are some awkward moments in that movie. Like, there's one scene where her and the love interest, the guy, and it's just kind of awkward. You're just kind of sitting there like, you're just kind of sitting there like this, like... Um, as far as, like, the characters go, uh, Alita was bad fucking ass, dude. And the robots got, like, claws, and I'm, like, a sucker for that shit, right? I, I like my anime really raw. So if you can give me, like, death, blood, violence, and cussing, just, like, anime like that, right? It's, like, very dark and bleak. I really like that. I didn't expect that going in this movie. I was thinking, like, oh, you know, it's probably just gonna be really kitty, PG-13. It's not gonna really have any cussing in it. It's not gonna have any blood or anything. Like, no. They CGI'd the blood, right? So they made it, like, robotic blood because they're cyborgs. So it's blue. The blood kind of censors. So when it's blue, you don't get in trouble for having blood spill. So when they're fighting and shit and bloody nose and bloody mouth and cutting it, like, they like rip their neck out like blood is like blue blood and it looks cool and you're like oh shit that's really fucking cool that's a really smart way to like the ease the rated r from you know pg-13 to rated r right and pg-13 the rules are you can say one bad word you can say one like fuck and i believe in like a, another shit or something like you can say those two words right but you can only say it like once or twice and she just like pauses for a second. She does like a one-liner where she's like, fuck you. And I was like, I was like, dude, that's tight. Like, okay, cool. Use your PG. And it wasn't like a cheesy throw-in, like, hey, fuck you. Like, no, it was like a, it was like, all right, motherfucker, like, let's dance. And it was like a cool way of saying fuck you. And that was like, it was cool. And I was like, perfect way to do that, right? Like, if you can nail a good cuss word and you can like throw that in, keep it PG-13, I'm cool with that. That's awesome. But then, but then. They're like, okay, so I'm like not expecting some death, right? Like some blood. I see a lot of action, smashing heads in, fighting. Like, oh, dog, it was, it was sick, yo. Like, if you could watch it, go watch it. It was a really awesome movie. So she's kicking ass, doing, taking names, whatever, boom, boom, boom. Now they go into this other part, right? Somebody, something happens, and it's like, whoo, right down the middle of your stomach, and the motherfucker just like falls apart, and you're like, whoo, damn! Like, you don't expect it. And then they show, like, the body on the ground, and then, like, the blood is, like, trickling there, and you're like, oh, shit, like, did not expect that. So that was, like, really cool. Cool elements like that, I think, like, make the movie, like, a lot darker than it should have been, and I think that's really cool. And like I'm saying, this is the best ad anime adaption movie or manga adapted movie, and I think... One, one, one of the things that really kind of strikes me, and I think the key thing here is like to take away, is the fact that like Dragon Ball Z, we got all these episodes, all this training, all this learning, right? All of this shit added up to this grand adventure that we know and love as children. And then Avatar, same concept, was like it had this big long storyboard drawn out, three long seasons of just badassery, like this kid from a, from a child show to growing into this like adult, um, like anime a cartoon. And then when the live actions come, they can't translate well because you got two hours to like put everything together and it doesn't translate well. They had a lot to prove. A lot of the anime movies that come before it have never been really, really good. And I think they finally kind of found that groove, that balance in this movie. And I think it was just really 
fucking good. My girlfriend had a blast watching that movie. She did not think she was gonna like it. Uh, she knew that I was excited to see it. She knew that because I am a big anime head. I do love anime. I do love uh, my cartoons, my animes, my whatever. I, I love them, right? Like, she was like, oh, like, Alita's so badass. That was cool. Like, homeboy with the back and he's like, he's got this Japanese crest like symbols and like, like a calendar type mural thing on his back and like the design is just badass dude if you have like a spare of 20 bucks or something uh just go watch that movie man i you, you won't I, it won't let you down i was very surprised and i thought it was a really good movie if i had to scale it one through five i'm definitely giving it a fucking four uh, i'm giving it about a 4.5 maybe no i'll give it a, a solid four i'll give it a solid four uh, on the on the rating scale because it is a, definitely a good movie it's a fun watch it's a good popcorn film it was just badass action it was tons of fun uh, it had emotional like emotional um, depth to it so like you can feel for the characters you can feel how they are feeling and it was really done well guys I highly recommend it if you guys can watch that um, so please guys if you got 20 bucks take your partner take a friend whatever it is if they like anime fuck go watch it dude because I highly recommend it man I want to see a sequel and if they get money you know that a sequel's coming and let's get that shit because anime fans fucking deserve it after all the fails that we've had from that crap to this crap, to that crap, to this crap, to that one, we're gonna go and we wanna see something good. This is that adaption that is gonna kick the ass. It's a stepping stone. It is the bar is set. I highly recommend it, guys. Four out of five, guys. Just so you guys know, I did get a copyright strike. This is my second one. If I get one more um, before April, I believe it's like April 14th or something from my first copyright strike, because this is number two, um, I will lose my channel. So I have to go light on the um, reaction videos, guys. I'm sorry. I wish I can do those a little bit more, but unfortunately, copyright YouTube, that just kind of just nail in the coffin. So I have to take it easy, but don't worry, guys. I got reviews coming. I I got um I got Kingdom Hearts 3 um Anthem coming up next. Hold with me, bear with me, stick with your boy. We're gonna hold it down and we're gonna do this shit right for you guys. Alright man, this is your boy Cheddar Dog and we holding it down. Let's do it!